Here I am in the place to be. Mr. K and B, you can't fuck with me. Extra sexy, extraordinary. Palms are hairy. Your mama pop. What up, y'all? K and B, the sexy ninja, in the place to be for C Plus Studios. And welcome to the Sexy Ninja Cast, the unofficial podcast for Tulsa King. I finally got a moment to sit down and watch this episode that dropped on the third uh, Visitation Place. Probably my favorite episode so far, man. Uh, a lot is happening. I mean, the last episode, there, you know, um, Dwight's like, yo, we're buying all these tanks. We're going to sell these balloons because these kids like to get high off these balloons. So he did the math and, you know, the guy at the bar that he made pretty much good friends with. I can't remember his name right now. Uh, he, you know, he's, he's developing all these relationships within Tulsa and I, I just love it, man. He's just, he's, he's slowly taking over, found the dude, um, Armand, Armandi, I believe his name was that was trying to kill him. Uh, tell him he's gonna pay him 300 bucks a week. And he's like, yo, you know, why, why'd you try to come at me? And he's like, yo, I thought you were here to kill me. You know, it was just a misunderstanding. And Dwight's like, yo, you know, you're gonna pay me 300 bucks a week when I need you. I need you, blah, blah, blah. Once you pay me off, we're done, you know, blah. But then his wife. Armandi's wife's coming in and she's like, what's going on? And he's just like, oh, guess what, babe? I think I lied for 15 years. I'm a, I am was a fucking gangster at one point. <laughs> she she got mad and whatnot. But this, this episode is about finding your place within yourself. That's what I took away from this. Finding yourself and, and understanding it's okay to feel. It's okay okay to reconnect with things and all this and that because Tyson he's really becoming a, one of my favorite characters he, he's still trying to find out who he is he's only 25 years old and you know he he's having this confrontation with his father and he's like yo you know like he's like he, the dad's like I don't want you to this is not what I wanted for you you know we 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 invested so much love and time into you being the man you should become but you know working for a gangster and stuff like that and you know then in this episode when they're selling at uh the the Oklahoma uh, state fair with these balloons and everything like that like 10 bucks a pop people are buying people are paying then you got this local biker gang now that's come in and they 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 shook them down they didn't shake them down the first time they're like oh who set up shop here then they went back to their their boss and their boss is like well you know you guys are weak links and i guess that's his daughter or whatever on the side like yo they're weak links blah blah he's like yeah i can't have that then they beat the shit out of the two guys that didn't beat up tyson and um bodie and all that and uh <laughs> So the next night they start selling balloons and the, the bikers start walking over and Tyson's like, "Oh yeah, man, we told you we didn't need a bam." They get they get they get beat down, they get beat down and everything like that. And they and they go to Dwight and Dwight's like, "All right, well, you know, we we're gonna use our heads here. You know, the art of war. This is what we're gonna do." And Bodie's like, "I don't want to get into violence, man." He goes, "No, this is war, man." He goes, "But isn't war in sight with violence? You know." So, um, and, and the Native American dude, I I think is uh. War, war face or something something of that nature i know something face um mean face i don't know but <laughs> this dude is awesome because a- a- after like um they dwight gang gets the gang together and tells him like yo calls armani like yo meet me here we're gonna go take care of some business here we're gonna take care of some business because that's what we do you know, we don't let people push us around. And uh, Tyson's like, yo, man, I'm sorry we got niggas. No, 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 no need to be sorry. You, you took your lickings. You know, you stood your ground. But now we need to retaliate, you know, in a sort of way. So gets the gang together. And after Tyson and his dad had this big fucking fight, you know, Tyson's dad shows up to the bar before they're about to go out and go get in this confrontation with um, the, the local biker gang. And he's like, dad, yo, you got to get out of like, my way. And then, then Dwight's like, hey, yo, you know, he works for me. He's like, don't tell me what my son can do. He's like, hey, hey, you know, he's made his choice. He, 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 he works with me, right? And the dad's all, yo, you know. Then he goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And he goes, I- I'm going with you. And Tyson's like, what? And he goes, yeah, I'm going with you. And then um, Dwight goes, no, you know, hey, yo, Dwight, you know, I think it's Mike. It says dad's name is Mike. And he goes, because yeah, they, they they I think they shake hands or whatnot, but it, it's that weird like yeah no. And he's like, you sure you want to do this? He goes, do you have kids? Yeah. Then why are you asking so many questions? And I was like, oh shit, let's go to war. And I'm looking at this great 
um, thumbnail for this on the actual on Paramount Plus right now. The, them all got they got all the bats, and you know it, it's just gang some gangster shit about to go down, and they go out swinging on these dudes, man, and gut shots, everything. Everyone, you know, and Bodhi gets a little bit more aggressive too. That's what I like too. Everyone's finding themselves within themselves and not being afraid to be themselves. And it's taking Dwight, even though this is all gangster shit, the legal shit that they're doing, you know, he's he's giving them their he says something about their balls, giving them their balls. Like take your balls and let drop your balls and let be the fucking person you want to be, you know. And there's just um before I get to the part with that was really sad in this episode. You know, Tyson, at the end of this episode, he's like, hey, I want to dye my hair. And Dwight's all, you know what? Do you. Be, be who you are. Be who you are. And he's like, yeah, yeah, be who I am. You know, and there's this, not, after the beat down and everything like that, they go back to the bar. They're all sitting there, beat up, licking their chops. And, you know, they're all smoking a cigarette and drinking and Dad's all like, yo, son, Tyson, like, you know you have a place. You know you have a home. Just understand, you know, you always, the door's always there. The door's always open. You're making your choices as a man. This is your choice, fine, but you always have a home. And a big part of this episode, too, is um, is uh, Dwight's uh, brother is dying. You know, he, he called back home, and his brother's, like, on life support and stuff like that. And he, you know, he's, he says goodbye and it is a very sad, touching moment. He's on FaceTime and stuff like that. And it's, you know, he, he talks about his all. He goes, hey, you know, and his, his brother really can't talk back because he's in a coma. But he tells him, he's like, hey, remember that time when I we went out this way and you saw this dude all in white, white beater, white thing. You asked him if he was God. And he says, if you think I'm God, I'm God. And he says this really great line, like uh, Dwight says it to his brother. Well, he's like, hey, if, if you see that guy. He's a, he's a good guy. You should go with him, you know. And it's very sad, very in the moment, you know. We're we're breaking barriers. We're we're, we're tearing down walls with the character of Dwight, and I and I love it. Like he, you know, the the general here, man. Um, Stacy's going through her own thing. She's you know, she's like, she's basically looking for love in all the wrong places, looking for love in too many places. <laughs> She goes to the bar in this episode right during the fight, and she, you know, gets this dude. They boom, they they fuck, and then bada bing, he's out, and she's there left alone. You know, so I'm I'm wondering if she's gonna be calling Dwight. You know, I know she, I know that age thing was a was a big deal in the first episode, like the whole age ordeal or whatever. But I think she's gonna grow to fall more in love with Dwight and I'm hoping that she keeps the job that she's at and starts helping him do gangster shit too and then also how to cut all the corners <laughs> and you know being his inside person on the on the law because he's developing so many so many relationships inside this town it's great you know with Taylor you know the tailor's like yo you got to dress like this man you know I got this gator and he's like no 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 this is this is me this is who I am so Great episode. This is by far my favorite so far of uh, out of these four. Out of I think there's ten episodes all together still. If I remember, let me just double check that. But this this episode was great, man. Just good old gangster shit. Um, and you can't go wrong. Like you you can't go wrong with that because and I feel like we're gonna something's gonna happen um, with with uh, Tyson's dad with Tyson's family. You know, I I, I feel like. There's going to be something that's going to happen and a shift in his character and dynamic. Um, you know, yeah, the ter uh, there's 10 episodes. We're on four. We got six to go. And we shall see. I, I feel like, though, something's going to happen with Tyson's family or Tyson's dad. It's going to drive his character to be, maybe depart a little bit of Dwight or maybe, like, go in deeper with Dwight. So we shall see. But this episode is great because all the great bonding moments. Check it out. Right now on Paramount Plus, like I said, <laughs> Sexy Ninja Cast, the unofficial podcast for the Tulsa King podcast, unofficially. So, Stallone, hey, yo, give me a call. Paramount Plus, give me a call. This is some great shit, man. Some good, good, good TV, television time that I look forward to every Sunday. And I'm glad I got to sit down and watch this episode. It's only 39 minutes, but it's a 39 minutes of good times, man. And I think that's where they're staying at. I'm looking at the other episodes. 
the the rain first episode is 41 minutes 37 39 39 so we're we're keeping it in that sweet spot and it's hitting just right so and stallone as a gangster i'm on board man i've been on board so uh, go check out the episode right now, Visitation Place. And after that, you're going to like and subscribe. You're going to share with your grandma, share with your grandpa, share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB, the Sexy Ninja. And as always, stay sexy, ninjas. Whoop, whoop. Welcome to the Wicked Shit. Oh, yeah.